Hi there, Homestead. It's Elizabeth from Community, and today we're going to talk about the RSS option in your Website Builder blog. So if you've already added a blog to your Website Builder site, and you click on Elements in the top left corner of the builder, towards the bottom, you're going to see Blog Elements. If you click on that, it'll show you the four blog-specific elements that are available in your builder. This is the recent posts, featured posts, the tags you've created, and blog RSS. If you don't know what an RSS is, it's basically a subscription service that people can use to subscribe to your blogs. There are many different RSS readers that people can have installed on their computer or browser. Um, all that you can do on your end is provide the button that will allow people to subscribe, and that's what this is. So click on Blog RSS, and you'll see a Blog RSS button attached to your cursor. So place it where you want it to be on your website, and click to drop it, and then you'll want to publish your site. So if people are on your website and they click this button and they don't have an RSS reader installed, it's just going to show them this page. It's basically a sitemap for your blog posts. So people have to have an RSS reader installed on their computer when they're visiting your site if they're going to click that button. Now, obviously, you have no control over whether your site viewers have an RSS reader installed on their computer, but you can provide the ability to subscribe if they do. So when people go to your site, and they click this button and they do have an RSS reader installed, it's going to pull up that same page, but it'll give them the option to subscribe to this feed. That way, whenever you post a new post on your blog, they're going to get a notification on their end that something has been posted so they can go look at it. So they click subscribe and they're now following your blog. So if you go into the builder, and you add a blog post. And then you publish it. Now that post is showing up in your blog and shortly they're going to get a notification on their RSS reader that there's been a new post. Okay, so it'll show up like that on their end with a notification that there's been a new post. They can click on it and see the new post. If they click on that, it'll bring them into the blog that you've created, and they'll be able to read it. So again, I do want to stress the fact that the only thing you need to do on your end is add the button. It is on your site viewers, whether they have an RSS reader or not, or whether they want to install one but you cannot control whether they have one or not. You can just give the option if they do. Um, so people will be able to subscribe to your post and your content is gonna be delivered to the people that really want to see it. So that is how you add a blog RSS feature onto your website builder blog. 